Uh, I know that you're a rancher in New Mexico. That's where you hang out in between, uh, in between gigs, as they say. <laughs> But I know you also started your career as a stuntman, is that not right? Yes. Okay. Now, when you look at the stuntmen today and the things they have to do, Richard, how does that compare with the things that you did when you were a young stuntman? Well, I never did anything as wild as these kids are doing. My son's a stuntman, and he blows those cars up. And I just did horse work. They were regular routine stunts, but they're, they're really coming up with some fantastic stunts now. That I can't hardly look at them, much less try to do them. But uh, it's really changed that way. And the techniques and the special effects are ten times better than they were when I was doing them. Do you think the stunt people are at more risk today than in your day? Uh, I really don't, because although it looks really wild, they get a chance to rig it, and they're pretty well... We'd, we'd hit the ground so much, and one thing has to happen. If you leave a horse or wagon, you have to hit the ground. That's inevitable. How you hit it is, depends on how long you can survive in the business. But the way these kids are doing, uh, this stuff is pretty well planned out, much more than ours was. It's a lot different, and they're making a lot more money, which is great. Richard, were you around when they were shooting the water scenes in this movie? I, I never was involved in those. I, uh, I'd stay in town because I, I didn't have anything to do, but I saw the picture last night. What did you think about that? Oh, it was incredible. The waterfall and the fast current. And the, I thought it was great. Did it surprise you that the dog would be in the water and the kids themselves? Well, no, not really. I, I had an idea that they were going to have to do it for the, for the movie. But uh, I didn't know it would be as spectacular as it was when I saw it last night. What do you consider, Richard, the most dangerous stunt you ever had to do? <laughs> well, rather than be repetition, just trying to get paid for it. <laughs> of course, that's a joke. But I think working on, on trains with horses. I've come awful close to getting up, going under a train, which is the end, you know. I think so, but I've been real lucky. I've uh, been skinned up a little bit. No broken bones? No, not really. really. Just pull tendons. Sometimes that's worse than a, a break. It's I've had things that took me quite a while to come out of. It. No, I was very fortunate. Well, you look great. Thank you. <laughs> and congratulations to all of you on the success of uh, Lassie. I hope Thank it does you. well. And uh, I look forward to seeing both of you again sometime. Maybe a sequel for Lassie, okay? All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.